Okay, hey, this is David with the Shepherd School, and we're going to do another EMP Pulse uh, Faraday cage video. Lots and lots of folks have been telling me that they wrap their stuff in aluminum foil. So we're going to test it. Like I said, sandwich bag insulator. Not the best, but we're just uh, demonstrating. Aluminum foil. Hey, this is Jenny. Leave me a message and I'll... Okay, so that works. Now, cell phone works for that, but here, I find the minister trying to get some batteries from a walkie-talkie. Okay, little family radio service job. And I want to show you that it's not just the aluminum foil. You know, that you've got to look at the uh, strength of the signal, of the transmitter. You've got to look at... The frequency, this is on a much lower frequency and coming out at a much higher, coming out at a much higher uh, wattage, okay? Cell phone's about a tenth of a watt, I think this is uh, five watts, okay? Same thing, insulator, aluminum foil, 360 degree coverage. No gaps, no holes. All right, totally covered. See that? Poked a little hole in it. So the aluminum foil works too. At a much higher voltage, so this is a pretty good little Faraday cage. Okay. So aluminum foil does work. And until next time, you can catch us online at www.tngun.com. Thanks.